Hello students, welcome to Coachify, welcome to the vocabulary series of the Hindi tutorial. Let's begin with our today's set of 10 words. Our first word in today's section is controller. Now in this, let's see the pronunciation, the P is silent over here, so you need not bother about the P part, it is controller. Now controller says that it is a high level executive in charge of financial and accounting matters. Basically, we can refer to it uh, like a chief financial officer, maybe in government bodies or in business or even in non-profit organization would be referred to a controller. Now, the root word is counter which means to count or calculate. So, the words coming out is account. I assume we all know the meaning of account and recount is basically to narrate again that is recount. The usage says the controller can fully review the organization's financial statements. As the controller of the company, she played a crucial role in managing the budgets and financial resources. Okay. Our next word is escalation. Escalation ko hum kisse relate kar sakte hain? Because as I have always discussed, humko words yaad reh jayein, uske liye hum inko kisi se connect karne ki koshish karte hain, link karne ki koshish karte hain. So escalation ko hum escalator se relate kar sakte hain. You, have, you all might have seen escalators in the malls, those are something which are going upstairs. I do agree that they come down also, but generally when we talk about escalation, it's increasing of something, something is getting severe, something is getting intensified. Now this can be used in reference of some conflicts, some scale, we can use that or even the severity of something. For example, if we say about the severity of tensions or this is increasing, the conflict showed signs of escalation as tensions between the two nations continue to rise. When we say about the scale, about measurement, something may increase then in response to the market demand, the company decided on the escalation of production to meet the growing needs, increasing the production. Our root word is scala which means ladder and the words are escalator and escalate, escalator we have discussed and escalate becomes a verb form for the word escalation. Our next word is conflagration. Conflagration may wapas con ko prefix agar mante hai to kisi ka saath mein con is a prefix used to bring things together. Ab jab bohat sari cheeze, it's a big fire, to bohat sari cheeze jab jal rahi hai, to we will say conflagration because flagre, this comes from the root word flagre which means to burn. So basically a large and destructive fire that spreads over a considerable large area. We can refer to, uh, to the fires which occur in the forest. For example, we can say that the dry conditions and strong winds contributed to the rapid conflagration in the forest. Okay. The other one is the historic building was engulfed in a conflagration that took hours for the firefighters to control. So when the fire is massive, it is spread in a large area that is conflagration and the words are conflagrate and inflammatory. So something which can burn intensely that would be referred as conflagrate and inflammatory those situations may use kar sakte hum. A health se related situation hoti when there is some inflammation in any part of the body that becomes inflammatory and something which arouses something which provokes a very strong anger that is also inflammatory. Our next word is hegemo. Hegemo word comes from the Greek word hegemo which means a leader or ruler. So, who lead, karna chahta hai, jo rule, karna chahta hai, jo apna influence dusro pe dikhana chahta hai, apna control karna chahta hai, that becomes a hegemon. It's a dominant or leading power. It can even be a state, it can even be a country that exercises control over others or that exercises influence over others is a hegemon. The words are hegemony and hegemonic. So, hegemony is that control over the other, that influence over the other country or state and hegemonic becomes, uh, it is characterized by hegemony is hegemonic, it becomes an adjective. Now the historical period witnessed the rise and fall of various hegemons, various, various dominating leaders. The struggle for hegemony in the economic sphere led to intense competition between the major global powers. Our next word is somnolence. Somne ka dhyan mein aate koi bhi bohat sare words hain so somno root word se bante hain because somnus means sleep aur hume kya dhyan aata hai hindi mein bhi hum sona bolte hain. So sona and somnus all related to sleep. Now the word is somnolence means a state of drowsiness or sleepiness uh, resulting in a very strong urge or desire to sleep that is somnolence. Then the words are insomnia and somnambulist. Insomnia means it becomes opposite when you are not able to sleep because of any reason health issues or some overthinking or whatever that becomes insomnia and somnambulist is like a sleepwalker who walks while sleeping he is not aware of the activities or the actions which he is doing that is a somnambulist. 
after a heavy meal a sense of somnolence overcame him and he found it challenging to stay awake the warm cozy atmosphere of the room induced a feeling of somnolence the next word is consensual consensual jab bolte hain thoda tongue twister hai to isme kaun jab word hai again bringing it together and sensual is related to entire word which means to feel so jab feelings ki baat ho rahi hai jab relationships ki baat ho rahi hai activities ki baat ho rahi hai agar kuch mutual consent se ho raha hai to we would refer to this word consensual now the word list is consent and consensus consent noun ban jata hai with the consent with other person's consent you are doing something consensus becomes like a group uh, judgment or a group opinion a collective opinion can be consensus the decision to move forward with the project was consensual with all team members expressing their approval sab sath mein in consensual relationships communication and mutual understanding play key roles in maintaining harmony in the next word egregious egregious this word comes from the root word grex means means flock a herd out of that herd and it means something which is very bad outstandingly bad remarkably bad in a negative way definitely it's a bad it has to be in a negative way that is egregious it refers to his egregious behavior a very bad behavior during the meeting shocked everyone present the company faced an egregious error egregious means something really that was outstandingly bad egregious error in the financial report leading to significant consequences and the root uh, the words formed with this are aggregate and congregate they both mean combining together now there is a difference between aggregate and say a congregate aggregate means combining of parts like marks and all that when you combine your marks of different tests of different examinations then that becomes an aggregate of your marks and congregate is combining of or uh, grouping together of people so this is related to people and this is related to some parts or some entities which are not living that is aggregate and congregate the next word is paramount पैरामाउंट हम इसको याद करने के लिए कहेंगे कि माउंटेन से रिलेटेड वर्ड है एक्चुअल में बना भी माउंटेन माउंटेन से ही है इक्वल टू माउंटेन तो माउंटेन्स आर नॉट लो इन हाइट दे आर हाई सो कोई चीज़ जब अपन उसकी हाई की बात कर रहे हैं हाइट की बात कर रहे हैं इंपॉर्टेंस की बात कर रहे हैं समथिंग विच इज हैविंग द हाइस्ट इंपॉर्टेंस और रैंक दैट वुड बी रिफर्ड एज पैरामाउंट नाउ द वर्ड्स कैन बी पैरामाउंटनेस अगेन डिफाइनिंग पैरामाउंट it becomes a quality paramountness becomes a quality the safety of the passengers is paramount to the airline industry it is of the highest importance for the industry in business negotiations clear communication is paramount for reaching successful agreement then comes the word genocide genocide mein agar hum ise break kare to geno and side geno is something which refers to race or tribe and cider is the root word for side which means to kill so इस रूट वर्ड से हमको ये वर्ड समझ में आ गया दैट किलिंग ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर रेस और पर्टिकुलर ग्रुप और ट्राइब इंटेंशनली डूइंग दैट वुड बी रिफर्ड एज जीनोसाइड वी कैन से हिटलर यूज टू परफॉर्म जीनोसाइड ओके नाउ साइड इज अनदर वर्ड विच कैन बी विच यू कैन फाइंड इन मेनी वर्ड्स स्यूसाइड राइट जीनोसाइड इन्फेंटिसाइड सो दैट इज रिलेटेड टू किलिंग the words are genos and genocidal genos becomes it is referring to some race or tribe it is a word also as well as a root word and genocidal means which is characterized by genocides that is genocidal the international community strongly condemns any act of genocide as a heinous crime against humanity efforts to prevent genocide focus on promoting awareness tolerance and understanding among diverse populations if you will have some uh, understanding about the other people other tribes other groups then you will not think of genocides our next word is grappling grappling ka matlab keh rahe hain grapple word se aaya hai to seize or clutch kisi cheez ko pakadna aur uske baad mein joojna basically the act of seizing gripping or struggling with something we can use it in two ways हम दो तरह से जूझ सकते हैं किसी चीज़ से किसी चीज़ से हम फिजिकली किसी ने हमें पकड़ रखा है तो आप जूझ रहे हो और आप कोई प्रॉब्लम्स हैं उनसे आप जूझ रहे हो उसे बाहर निकल के आने के लिए सो दैट इज़ ग्रैपलिंग सी व्हेन वी सी द यूजेज इट वुड बी मोर क्लियर द टू रेस्टलर्स वे विगरसली ग्रैपलिंग इन द रिंग दिस इज फिजिकल ग्रैपलिंग ईज ट्राइंग टू गेन द अपर हैंड एज द टीम फेज अनएक्सपेक्टेड ऑब्स्टिकल्स दे स्पेंड आज ग्रैपलिंग विद इनोवेटिव सोल्यूशन टू ओवरकम द हर्डल्स तो वो प्रॉब्लम से जूझ रहे हैं यहाँ पे विच इज नॉट फिजिकली प्रेजेंट बट इट इज देयर 
right so this is used in the physical way and this is used in uh, reference to the challenges which one faces the words can be grappler and grappling hook grappler is one who is involved in the grappling process and grappling hook is a hook which uh, often mountaineers use while climbing the mountains and also in naval activities it is used now here is the practice session see how we can fill in the blanks we have discussed all these words and see how we can fit them in the proper way in a tumultuous geopolitical landscape the rise of a global dash has become a dash concern for many nations now the rise of a global when it is we are talking about the rise of something it can be the rise of a leader the rise of a global leader we are talking so hegemon can be the one for this hegemon has become a dash concern for many uh, nations a very important one the most important one rather uh, has become a paramount concern for many nations the potential for dash actions such as acts of dash looms as looms sorry looms as conflicts dash we have to use three words in this sentence the potential for dash actions what kind of actions egregious actions because aage in, we are talking about conflicts and all that so the potential for egregious actions such as acts of genocide because we are this is going in a way that something wrong is happening so genocide can be the choice for this looms as conflicts conflicts badh rahe hain to conflicts badh rahe hain the sentence par na the potential for egregious actions such as acts of genocides loom as conflicts escalate leaders dash with the challenging of maintain challenge of maintaining peace and stability so they are grappling they are trying to get the wo jooj rahe hain is challenge se peace and stability maintain karne ke challenge se jooj rahe so grapple can be the word here leaders grapple with the challenge of maintaining peace and stability within this intricate web of global affairs the role of a dash in overseeing financial resources and ensuring transparency becomes increasingly vital talking about a person who will take care of financial resources that becomes a controller so that will be the choice for the seventh one within this intricate web of global affairs the role of a controller in overseeing financial resources and ensuring transparency becomes increasingly vital okay i hope the words in the first passage almost seven we have covered up so they are clear now there is another session another practice set for you you can take a screenshot and solve it and do put it in the comment box with the answers and that's all in today's session i hope these 10 words are all clear to you all friendly with you do use them and become more friendly with them wishing you the very best thank you